Hello again, happy Monday, happy my birthday. I hope everybody had an awesome day. And the other thing I wanna talk about, let's talk about, basically the weather here hasn't been the nicest, especially that one Friday because it was sleeting and you know you're not supposed to be driving in the sleet. So basically, my stupid job doesn't do direct deposit with the check for whatever reason, like every other job is doing it, but they don't do it. So you have to tap to drive my little self up there, pick up my check, drive myself to the Wells Fargo, deposit it. It's like, come on now, direct deposit please. So lately they haven't been having the checks up there on time. It's like they used to have it up there like Friday early afternoon. That's when I would always go get it. And then for whatever reason lately, they've been up there five, six o'clock. It's like later. It's like what in the world? Not only do you not do direct deposits, but now they're up there later, so that kind of like messes up my schedule. But basically, I really needed to go get that check because I needed to go buy my hair, this hair, my Marley hair. I needed to go buy the hair. I need to go get my hair done the next day. So at 10 o'clock the next day in the morning, so it's like, I need this check tonight because I need the money. And then mom was like, just use the money that you already have. And I'm like, do you know how expensive this is going to be? It, it, I need that check, for real. Like, if I was just... Oh, man, my bun get messed up. If I was just, you know, if it wasn't so doggone expensive, I'd just use money, you know, that I already had. But I needed this check, so therefore, need to check. But, basically, Dad needed to take me, you know, up there. And he was already complaining the whole ride, basically the whole ride, that he couldn't see. Because, you know, sometimes people can't see well in the dark. But I was like, Dad, okay... You announced it five times that you can't see. That's great. If you keep saying it, you're really not going to be able to see. You got to sound positive. So stop saying 101 times that you can't see, and then maybe you'll be able to see better. But basically, we had to drive really slow, but that's not where the stupid part came in, okay? So there were two accidents. There was one on the main highway up here, and then there was one on this highway on the street, like going into the Target. So it was a mess and stoplights went out to make it even better. So like this guy sitting in front of us, like he's at the stoplight, he's number one and we're behind him. And it's like all these other cars around the stoplight's broken because once it stays red for a really long time, that means it's broken. So he was just sitting there at the stoplight, just sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. And you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get on him too much because I probably would have done the same thing as like I'm not going to get some tickets because y'all honking at me. Like, until that stoplight says flashing red or flashing yellow, I'm going to sit right here. I understand. But basically, if you see that it's red for a really long time, you can go. That means it's broken. You just have to look out for the other cars. Make sure you're not about to hit anybody. But you can go. So it was a mess because people were honking. And, like, he was just sitting there. But he was an older dude. And, and, I, and as I just said... I would have been doing the same exact thing because I'm not trying to get no ticket. But let's see. Was that the only thing? Yeah, it was just a big mess in that case. Like, that talked me out of driving in sleet. I will not be driving in sleet. Just no sleet. <sighs> but okay. That's all I had to talk to y'all about. I'm getting ready to go to class. So thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.